Well, hello guys, and welcome to my final review of the Lego Ninjago Sons of Gormadon sets. As you can see, today we are going to be doing set 70640. This is the Sons of Gormadon headquarters. Um, there you can see the front of the box, and then there you can see the back of the box. And then back here now, we can see everything included in this set, including the, of course, gold spinner for Lloyd, and then the whole headquarters itself. So now we're going to get straight in by starting with the minifigures. So starting off with Lloyd here, as you can see, this version of Lloyd is actually exclusive to this set. This is him in his spinjitsu robes. Uh, so there you can see the leg detailing and torso detailing. It does come with these two silver shurikens, which is great that we are finally getting these in silver now. And they are available in quite a few sets as well. And plus you get a spare in each set as well, so this is a nice way to build up a collection of those. And then taking the mask off, there you can see his first face. And then there you can see the back detailing. And then you can see his second face. And then obviously with the mask back on there, there you can see what that looks like from the back. And so, yeah, that is it for Next up here, we have got Snake Jaguar. This is, of course, Zane in disguise. So, as you can see, he has got these silver legs here, so I'm assuming these are just going to be his regular titanium legs that uh, stay behind. Um, he does sadly have his movie hair, which is a pretty horrible hairpiece, to be honest. Um, but then there you can see his torso and um, face detailing. If I can get this back together. So there you can see all of that. The torso detailing is actually the same as uh, Skip Vicious's torso detailing, who is also the same minifigure as Luke Cunningham from the Katana V11. Um, but yeah, there you can see the face there, which does match the movie expression. But this is actually a brand new print. Um, so yeah, obviously there's no none of the hair printed on the back of it. And then there you can see the back detailing. And he does get this shoulder pad with these two silver katanas in. And then this um, black uh, little kind of rebooted uh, hood piece. Then next up here we have got Ultraviolet. And this version of her is actually exclusive to this set. And I do really like the um, recolored, uh, rebooted bandana piece in purple there. It does look really cool on her. You can see that it's kind of continued onto the torso there with that print. So taking that off, there you can see her face detailing in whole. And obviously she does get this nice Nalakan hairpiece, but they have put this stud on there to kind of secure it in. So obviously really nice torso and leg detail, and this version of her is much better than the one in the Ninja Nightcrawler. And there you can see her back print. And then for weapons, she does just come with two um, gunmetal grey side pieces. So yeah, that is it for Ultraviolet. Then next here we have got Skip Vicious. Of course, as I did say, this is the exact same minifigure as Luke Cunningham from the Katana V11. So there you can see his face print in all of its glory there with the little notch in his eyebrow. And taking this off, obviously, exact same print as um, Zane in this set, so nothing new there. And then for a weapon, he just gets get a wrench uh, or a crowbar. Um, so you can, I guess, use that to <laughs> cause some damage to the ninja or to just kind of repair some uh, motorbikes. But yeah, that is it for Luke. And the last minifigure here we have got is Nails. Now this is the exact same minifigure as Chopper Maroon, apart from the fact that he's got short legs. So it's going to be interesting to see what's going on there. He does come with a red katana and then a little wrench piece in silver for his weapons. So then you can see the front of him and then taking off this little band a piece you can kind of see the rest of the detailing I do really like the face and torso with those skulls printed on there and there you can see this nice hair piece in red and then there is his back detailing oh, again obviously same minifigure as Chopper Maroon so it's gonna be interesting to see how this is gonna be going. moving on to the set itself here we are gonna start with Lloyd's spinner so as you can see obviously it has got this nice handle built up which you can easily grip there and then obviously um, to spin this you just pull this ripcord there and then you can see it spins and then obviously if you want to you can just kind of jump it off there and it will spin around on the top. Now there are a lot of tricks you can do in, with these spinners, uh, I'm not going to go into too much of them in this video. Um, you can do a few things to knock this only mask off the top which I'll show you later. And to get Lloyd in here obviously it's the same as the Ajitsu, you just uh, twist this, take the cap off and then you put Lloyd in there put the cap back on like so and then you just kind of twist it back there and then you can see he's in that and we can spin him around like so so you can see you can kind of go and hit things around on the um, headquarters obviously it does work better when it's not on a studded base but for the sake of this video I'm not really going to be showing too much of this but yeah that's basically it for the spinner and then obviously 
the handle here is nice and um, this spinner is actually exclusive to this set in gold so of course if you want that then um, this is the set to get. Moving on to the headquarters itself we are going to be starting off over here on this side um, as you can see back there um, this bit did just fall off um, I, I am a bit disappointed with this because it does fall out really easily um, as you can see there obviously the what you're supposed to do is kind of have a minifigure come from behind and just kind of break in but it just break off really easily and then there you can see all these stickers on there, it's just kind of an ATM machine. Um, obviously this is kind of part of some underground um, section. I'm assuming that they've kind of hijacked a train station and taken over that to use as their base. Um, and then over here you can see we've got these two lights there with the red and green. This can be knocked over if you want to manually um, move that. Then around here we have got some kind of rubble um, and built into this uh, broken kind of wall we have got this section here which you can just spin around um, on the back there you can see you just spin that and it will twist this round and the whole point of this is that you kind of have uh, nails on there and you can just kind of swing him about there like so and you can kind of knock the spinner around when it is spinning to um, get that to effect. Then there you can kind of see this whole thing from behind. Um, again, as you can see, this thing breaks off really, really easily. That is a real problem with this. Um, so, yeah, just be careful with that. And then you can see this is what you twist to activate the little wheel there on the front. You just twist that and you can see it spinning around. Obviously, we have got these hinges where it is clipped on. So you can bring this out uh, if you want to. Um, you can get this out really really far so you can kind of have a nice long headquarters or you can bring it bring both sides in really really close like so so you can have it all nice and secured in and then obviously over here we've got this chainsaw blade which can spin around and there is a sticker on top of that there you can see that um, so you just spin this and then that will uh, spin around so you can kind of use both of these to knock the spinner about and then at the back here you can see we've got this world tour coming soon thing, uh, sold out bit. At the top there we've got the Sons of Garmadon logo. This can be brought in if you want to. Um, and then this bit is just kind of to be manually spun around. It's got these uh, two Mjolnir hammer pieces on it. You can just spin that around or you can kind of have the spinner um, hit into it and spin them around. But there is no mechanism to activate that so you kind of have to do it manually. But that is a pretty cool um, little thing. I'm guessing that is going to be pretty dangerous if it is in the show. Then over on this side there's not too much going on. As you can see we've just got this little bit of um, broken wall there. This is kind of a little station to um, fix a bike. So there you can see we've got this one bike included. Um, nice built up bike um, there as you can see. Really really nice. It's got these two wheels on the back and then the one on the front. You can move this about if you want to and twist it about. But the whole point of that is just to kind of get the look. Um, really nice scale bike. Obviously a lot of bikes in Ninjago are kind of oversized but this one is kind of a perfect um, representation of what a moderately big bike would look like and you can sit a minifigure on top there and have them ride about and then as you can see the main gate over here um, to the headquarters there is a little ramp here and the whole point with this is that with your spinner you can kind of as you can see there um, it did hit the hammer which is pretty cool but the whole idea with this is that you get the spinner to kind of spin up and then go through this door and what can happen with that if it goes hard enough is as you can see the only mask gets knocked down and how that works is up here as you can see the doors um, the doors push a thing on the back which I will show you so when they push that all the way through as you can see the only mask sits on this red bit here but um, bringing this down there you can see that and then when you open the doors um, really hard it does fire them off, uh, fire it off and how that works is on the back here I can turn this around you can see we've got these two bits that the door hits so as you can see that just pushes the only mask and obviously if you do it hard enough so like like <laughs> if I can do get this right um, if you do it hard enough that just broke the door off um, you will knock the only mask off the top um, again yeah these doors aren't really secured in very well um, obviously so that the spinner can go through them to knock it off obviously these are connected to the um, these uh, ratchet joint pieces using just clips so yeah not very secure but then obviously you can put the only mask back on top there and then 
have this push push the uh, mask off. So I think that is a pretty cool thing, and obviously. Um, if you can get this all to work with the spinner, it will obviously look pretty cool. Um, getting this all to in action. Obviously, this really isn't much of a display set. So, obviously, over here we've got just a few tools, a little coffee mug. And then here is just a little bit of um, a uh, workbench. And then, obviously, you've got this which can spin around. Not much space for minifigures, but obviously, you know, you can put a few around here. Um, you know, just stand them about. But really, this is more of a place and just kind of a little, um, just a tiny section of what a massive underground kind of train station headquarters would be. Um, obviously, you can build onto this if you want to. But really, the main point of this is to get it to work with these Spinjitsu spinners, which in itself is a pretty cool idea. Obviously, there isn't really much you can do with them, so having an actual set to work with them is pretty cool. Although, I would have kind of prefer preferred it if we got a full on headquarters rather than just a little kind of flimsy um, one layer thing. But obviously, <laughs> you can't ask for too much. Um, and yeah, it's a decent set, it's much better than I expected it to be. But with that out of the way, now we can go ahead and take a look at the instructions. So, moving on to the instructions, as you can see here, we do just get one book. The front is the same as the front of the box. On the back we have the win with Lloyd there from the movie. Uh, piece count, and then for the advertisements, we've got this advertisement for LEGO Life here. The new Spinjitzu Masters. All of these sets, and this is the last one I'm reviewing, so obviously you can find reviews of all of these on my channel. Um, I may make a playlist with them all in if you want to go check that out, so yeah. Then you can see we've just got the features of the set, obviously what you can do with the Spinjitzu Master to get all of this to work, which I wasn't able to show you. Um, but yeah, you can see kind of how you can knock this ATM out with the Spinjitzu Master, and obviously um, knocking the only mask off the top by spinning it into it hard enough, which is what I was trying to show you by just flicking the door off. And then obviously using these to knock the spinner about, which is... I'm sure it will look pretty cool if you get it all working. But yeah, with that out of the way, now we can move on to the ratings for the so set. So overall onto the ratings for this set, as I said, this really does work better as a playset rather than kind of a display model. Um, and I do kind of wish that they had kind of built up it as a more of a headquarters rather than just a little thing to mess around with the Spinjitzu Masters. But you know, if you are into those, then obviously this is a great set to get because of all the little features you can do with these uh, chainsaw things and the little wheel there. Obviously, major con with this little ATM that can just break out just by kind of touching the set um, is a bit of a problem. And obviously these doors don't really lead anywhere, so that's kind of to play on you with your imagination. But I do think the feature of knocking the Oni mask off the top is pretty cool. And obviously um, getting the Mask of Hatred, which I didn't really show you there. So there you can see that, obviously it has got the hair on the sides there, and you can put that on a minifigure if you want to. Um, not exclusive to this set, um, but I'm pretty sure this is the cheapest way to get it, so yeah, if this is the only only mask that you want then obviously you can get this set. But again, I wouldn't really recommend it if you just want to display the thing, but um, if you are going to be kind of using other features or you just want it for the minifigures and pieces, then obviously, great deal. Um, not the best minifigures, but obviously two of them being exclusive and of course Zane's exclusive face print is perfect and obviously the exclusive golden spinner. Um, so yeah, on to the rating for this set. I'm probably going to give this set a 7.5 out of 10. Um, yeah, as I said, I recommend it if you are into kind of play sets or if you just want it for the pieces and minifigures. But aside from that, you really don't have much else to say. So if you are new around here and you wouldn't mind subscribing, please do because I am trying to reach 40,000 by the end of 2018, which I know does sound a bit like a crazy goal, but I think with your help then we can kind of make that a reality. Um, so yeah, that's all I have to say. So please like and subscribe and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.